What is good, YouTube? Adam over here, a.k.a. Value Bliss. Happy New Year, everyone. I want to wish you all the best in the new year. And I'm making a video uh, to show you some items I got to flip online. I'm going to be selling these items on eBay and Etsy. And I want to show you these items. They're very nice items, uh, and they make you lots of money. So if you come across some of these things, pick them up if you get them for good price because they will sell for good money online. And I hope everybody had a good Christmas break. I didn't make any videos during the Christmas holidays uh, because I didn't buy much stuff. I was taking a break from, from buying, but I was selling throughout the whole month. So I had some good sales in the November and December months. Okay, so let me show you the items I picked up and these are items I got in the new year already, and I'm going to be listing them online probably within a few days. Uh, so let's start with some clothing items. I have only a few clothing items uh, and very common and good brands. So the first item here, this is a headband, and this is the Lululemon headband brand. has a nice tag here. It's a size extra small. And this headband I got at a local Goodwill. I paid three dollars for this and these sell online used for anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars and this should be a quick flip, very easy to ship. So that was a nice little pickup. The okay, next item also from local Goodwill. I went to the Goodwill yesterday and this is a good bolo item and I have shown this brand before but this particular shirt has some uh, extras on it that even makes it more valuable and will sell quickly. So the brand I'm talking about is FJ, also known as Food Joy, and this is a golf apparel. So this is an FJ sh uh, golf shirt, so sh short sleeve. So what makes it worth more money? So there's two things. The first thing is the FJ logo right on the collar. That makes it uh, worth more. Like, no, if the logo wasn't on the collar, the shirt would be maybe 20, 25 bucks. But because the collar uh, logo makes it about $40 shirt. And the other item that makes it more is what's on the sleeve. So there is a patch on the sleeve. Titliest. That's the golf logo as well, golf brand. So with this uh, brand name on the sleeve, this shirt now in used condition will sell anywhere from 50 uh, to 60 bucks. It's a nice big size, size large, and I picked it up at the local Goodwill for seven bucks. So FJ, and the one thing to remember is the FJ logo on the collar. And another item from the same Goodwill, this is a vintage uh, light jacket, and this is a ladies jacket. Uh, let me just zip it up here so it's easier to show. Vintage uh, jacket, very nice. Here it is, and the brand name is L.L. Bean. That's their vintage logo, and I believe this one was made in the USA. Uh, the tag is all washed out, so you cannot see the size and the materials and where it was made. But here it says L.L. Bean Freeport, Maine, three-season jacket. So that's a good keyword right there, three seasons. So probably summer, spring, or maybe even winter, spring, and fall. I don't think you need a jacket in the summertime. And this is ladies' jacket, and these vintage uh, L.L. Bean jackets, it has a fleece lining. Uh, they sell anywhere from 35 to $45. And I charge shipping on all my items, and I paid nine dollars for this jacket. Okay, next item is from a Value Village trip. I picked it up today, and I might keep it for myself, but I also want to show you because this is a, also a good item to flip. So it is a polo shirt, a golf shirt, short sleeve, and uh, it's a Nike brand. But there is more to it than just a Nike brand. So there's a Nike logo. And here on the back of the collar, like on the back, you can see the TW. 
and this means uh, Tiger Woods. And even inside the collar, you will see it says the Tiger's Tiger Wood, Woods collection, and it has some uh, holes for the venting for the air. And this shirt in this is in excellent condition. It's like brand new. So if I do sell it, and some, and I'm gonna sell this as used, somebody will receive this in the mail, and they will open it, and they're gonna say, "Wow, this is a." The shirt said it was used, but it looks like it's brand new, and it has the little Nike logo, slash swoosh logo on the buttons. Uh, no, there you can see it. So these shirts, brand new, they go for about 120 bucks. If you want to buy them brand new in a store, I paid, uh, I think it was $10. Uh, and I'm going to, if I don't keep it, I can flip this shirt for 40 bucks online or even 50 Tiger Tiger Wood Collection. The peachy color might not be the best selling color. Black is the best. But still, you can get 40 bucks for it. And this is another shirt that I picked it up. And I might just keep it for, for myself as well. But again... I can always resell it. Even I can wear it a few times and then sell it. I do that sometimes. So this is a Polo Ralph Lauren uh, costume fit. Long sleeve Polo shirt. And this is the big pony logo, which is more rare. And it is pretty neat. And on the sleeve it has a number three. It's nice color scheme, navy and white. So these shirts are used on eBay. You can sell them for about 40 to, again, 45 bucks. And this at Value Village, today I picked it up. It was only 650 So I might keep it because it's my size and I like the shirt. And uh, I need to wear polo shirts with the color to work. So this will be perfect shirt for the work. Uh, but, yeah, you, if you see them at the bins or you can see them at garage sales for good, cheap money, you can get 40 bucks for this easy online on eBay. Okay, and now I have two more clothing items, and they are from the women's clothing section. And both items are from the same brand. They're very good brand and easy seller. Uh, you probably can recognize by this uh, here. This shape right here. So this is a Lululemon hoodie. So it has the logo on the hood. And this is the scuba hoodie. Very popular. Very warm. This is a bigger size. Uh, I don't even know what size it is. Sometimes you will si find a size inside the pocket. So most of the Lululemon clothing you will find the size inside the pocket. Uh, hoodies, pants, sometimes it's a back pocket, skirts, uh, and even the bras we have inside, they have the, the, the size dot. So this one says number 12. So this is size 12, so it's a big size. And so the size dot, if it's a women's size, it will have a number from 2 to 14, I think. And if it's men's, it will have the same same dot, but the size will be either S M, L, or extra large. So that's how you can tell if it's ladies or, or men's. Um, so, yeah, so I, this was a nice pickup today at Value Village. It was priced only at five ninety nine, and it needs to be washed because there is some dog hair on it, but there is no damage to it. It's pretty good condition. Just need to be thrown in the wash to clean it up, fresh and refresh it, and I can ask about 40 bucks for this, too plus shipping. And the next item here is also from Lululemon, and this is like a more modern one. It's a top. I, I don't know if it's a jacket. It's like a pullover top. It's pretty unique looking. And so when I'm going to be listing it, I want to know exactly what this uh, clothing item from Lululemon is called because Lululemon has lots of good following. Uh, and people look for specific keywords. And right now, there is a hole in the hood and the back has a pocket like on the side. I don't know what it's called, but there is a website called uh, Lulu Fanatics, and you can browse browse all the past 
different uh, clothing items that Lululemon produce. And so I'll be looking for this one just by pictures to find the same one. And they give you exactly what's the name of it and what colors it came in. So you can use that website to find keywords to list your Lululemon stuff. And that's what I do. So this one costs more. It was um, 16 99 And I can probably flip this for 60 bucks if not more. I have to exactly find out what this is called exactly, but I think because it's unique and it's the more modern and it's different, it can be easily $60 because this brand sells very well. Okay, so let's continue with the Value Village pickup from today. I also got a vintage box of chess. This is the magnetic chess. It was only $3. So you can open it up like so, and here you can see all the pieces are there, and this is just a nice, cool-looking chess uh, game, and this I'm going to probably put in the antique booth, and the reason is because I don't think there is much value to it. Probably I can get $10 for this at, on eBay, and then people have to pay under 10 to get it shipped, and I see there is a little bit of box damage on the box. So I can put this for $10 in my antique booth and it will sell quickly. So it will make me a few bucks. So I picked it up because it's cool. Okay, another buy today from Value Village and I paid up for this one. It was this uh, SLR 35mm film camera. And this one cost me 50 bucks. And this is a Nikon. Nikor. Nikormat. So Nikormat was the brand... Well, it's a Nikon. They called them Nikromat before they called them Nikon. They changed the name to Nikon after. It's a vintage one from the 70s. Uh, it's a very good shape, very nice SLR. So it has a Nikon lens, not the best lens, but it has a f uh, 2.0 lens. And it needs a battery for the light mirror. I haven't tested that yet, but I have the battery, so I will be testing it because I just came back from the store. So I paid 50 bucks for this, and I will sell this. Uh, I will double my money on this camera. I'm going to list it at $100 plus 25 bucks to ship, and I'm going to be listing this on Etsy. There is some right now listed on eBay anywhere from 100 to 150 bucks, And on eBay, sales are anywhere from 40 to 100 dollars but the ones that sold for 40 dollars the shipping was like 80 bucks on them so this will be just a double my money nikon cameras will sell i have sold all my 35 millimeter cameras that i had uh during before the christmas break so now nowadays it's harder to find these cameras and now thrift stores know about them and you have to start paying up for them but still I paid 50 bucks to make 50 bucks, no problem, easy flip. That's why I got it. Another great pickup today was this little Polaroid camera, and this was only 9.99, 10 bucks, and this is a nice one because it's the cool cam, so it's a little bit different. It's not not your usual gray or black color Polaroid, and I have sold I think two of these in the past, the cool cams, and what's good about this? Like the strap still has the plastic uh, thing around it and looks like it's factory sealed. So I don't think this camera was ever used. When I bought it, I didn't know 100% if this was working. So when I got it home, I put my expired film in and the camera works perfectly. It's in perfect working condition. And cosmetics, it looks like new. Uh, also, a good thing about it is it's made in the United Kingdom. Some of the Polaroids, not the cool counts, but Polaroids in general are made in China. But it doesn't really matter. People still buy them. Uh, so I paid $10 for this cool cam, and I have sold uh, them in the past for 65 bucks on Etsy. And because this one is in such a good condition, and the ones I sold for 65 they sold within a week, I'm probably going to list this one for 75 uh, and give it a go. So that was a nice pickup. So this will make me even more money than the Nikon. Okay, and now something I picked up that was out of my comfort zone, you can say, or I never picked up before or sold before. I have sold uh, vintage toasters before, and they sold for good money. But So this is something similar. This is a vintage uh, blender. 
and it's pretty nice because it has this chrome finish on the sides and the back, which is pretty cool, and it has uh, all the different blending modes. So this is the Osterizer Classic 8, and I paid uh, $9.99 on Value Village for this, 10 bucks. And I did test it uh, at the store, at the electronic testing section uh, station. And all the modes work fine. The motor works like new. And this uh, toast, uh, um, blender, sorry, I checked it up online on eBay in the solds. And this has sold on eBay, I think, uh, for, a, for $50 with $50 shipping. So I won't be probably listing this on eBay because this is heavy. And it's going to cost me maybe 40 bucks to ship. And I think it's, for me, better. I have my antique booths, and this is a vintage kitchen item, and it's going to look great in the booth. So that's where I'm going to be putting this in the booth. And I might price it a little bit lower at about 40 bucks. So it's going to have, like, four times my money there, right there. So that would be a nice flip. That's why I picked it up. And but I'm thinking on eBay, it might sell quicker, although... I know with the chrome finish, it's very difficult to take good pictures because you always have the camera or your hands holding the camera reflecting in the chrome. So that's why don't bother with the photos and just put it in the booth and sell it over there. It will make similar profits. Okay, another thing I picked up today was this uh, Panaview slide viewer. It was 8 bucks, wasn't cheap. Uh, what I like about it is uh, the bo it had the original box, plus it doesn't run. Usually those things run on batteries, but this one, it's a plug-in one, so you can plug it in, and, and the light, light works. When you press, you can see the light. Well, let me maybe see if I can show you. I have some slides here, and I see that the cable is pretty long. So now I plugged it in. Oh, it doesn't work. I didn't plug it in correctly. There we go. So to plug it in. So you can see the light shining. Um, so I have some slides here. They're not very good. We have more. You see how well this slide viewer shows the slide. So these are the slides. I have listed individually on eBay. I think I had them as I ended the listings, but I have sold, I'm selling individual slides for anywhere from five to eight bucks a slide. And I have thousands of slides and I just picked ones that I thought the content was good on them. Uh, so let me show you one, for example. I think this one's from Spain. It says Spain, I think from the 50s. So you put the slide inside here, and there you can see the slide. It's pretty nice, actually. Uh, let me see if I, which way it goes in. And here it is. I have some of the lights reflecting. Maybe if I turn the lights off, you can see better. But yeah, you can see the slide very clear. Uh, so you could even use this to take photos of the slides. You can try. Uh, it's a nice item. And because my new venture for this 2018 year is to be have a niche of selling just vintage photos, so I opened a new eBay and Etsy shop, and I'm gonna list. I only list their vintage photographs and including slides like this. Uh, so they, so if I have like. 50 slides to list in my eBay store. I don't cram my eBay store with just single photos, so I have a specific separate store for that. So eBay, I only could list 10 photos, and they told me that said your listing limits are up, and I have to wait time for them to increase my limits. But on Etsy, there is no such thing. You can list. So I listed in two days. I listed about 80 pictures very quickly in two days, and I already sold two pictures on Etsy. In two days, I opened the store, which is pretty nice. And I didn't sell them for lots of money. One picture sold for, uh, I think, $9, and the other one sold for $8 plus shipping. And shipping is just letter mail, and it's only a couple bucks to ship, so it's cheap. 
So that's why I got this file viewer. I might use it for my photo business, but you can also flip them online. And this one, the power uh, power uh, as an outlet, myself for double what I paid for about fifteen dollars. The okay, next item I want to show you a nice bolo item, and I picked this up at the estate. Um, it was an estate sale auction. It was auction uh, on the December 29th, and this is a Polaroid camera, and this camera falls down, so you might see it in the store, in the thrift store, or estate sales, or garage sales. You might see it laying down like this, and some people don't even know, even the estate sale people or gar might not even know what it is, that it's a camera, because I bought this same camera at the state sales, folded like this, and I, I, and I bought them for five bucks in the past. And this is a nice Polaroid camera. It folds down like this, and that's how you might see it in the store. And to just open it up, you, you grab on the top, and you just pull up. You have, to, you have to use some force, and then it snaps in. So this is an SLR Polaroid, and it takes... a uh, SX70 film format, so it won't work with that uh, with the film that goes into this camera. This one takes 600 film. I don't know. I think I have a cartridge in here. Ah, uh, come on. So this is 600 format. It's similar, and if you try to put it in. Uh, because it has the the little edges on the on the back, it just won't go, won't fit. It fits size wise, but there's something blocking it. So you can use this film to test this one. You need the SX70 film. And what I did, I bought a brand new pack from Project Impossible for like 25 bucks of the SX70 film when I got my first of these SX70 cameras, and that's what I use even late one year later to test these cameras. So I paid at this estate sale auction, I paid uh, $40 for this camera plus auction fees plus taxes. So it cost me about 50 bucks, this Polaroid. And this is the, let me put more light here. Polaroid SX70 LAN camera, Alpha One. Sometimes you won't see the Alpha One uh, uh, on, on written down on here, but if you see the br brown leather, case and the chrome or the metal uh, sides, this is a, that's the right model to have because they also come in, the, this is black sometimes, so they're a little bit less expensive. But this camera on eBay, if you look it up right now, these sell from anywhere from $180 to $250. This is a very good camera and it sells for big bucks. So this is a bolo item for today's video and I want to show you this. Okay, and that's it of my haul. You can also see an old radio here on the back. I picked it up at a private estate sale. Somebody contacted me that they have some electronics to sell, and I went. I bought older ele vintage electronics from the house. That was maybe mid-December. And one of the items was this big radio, and this is a tube, tube radio. It's a Grundig German radio. It has six tubes in it, and I paid 80 bucks for that one. And I'm going to probably be selling this. I don't know how much I'm going to price it yet, but minimum $250 or up. But right now I have it sitting here because I'm not in a rush selling it. All right. I'm going to pause the video for a bit because I want to show you my antiquing uh, find. I, I promised that I'm going to go antiquing to the, my local antique mall. And I'm going to be finding items there to flip uh, to buy there for cheaper and to sell them on eBay or on Etsy for more money. And I want to show you a cool piece I picked up and I want to talk a little bit about it. Um, okay, I got it. Uh, got the piece from the antique mall and it's, it's, it's a bowl. This could be a fruit bowl or a, a bowl used for candies or sweets, I guess. And this is an old, old piece. So I got it from a dealer at the Antigmo for $30. And this is all hand-painted, beautifully done, and it's like they has the blackberries uh, design, and it's painted on the inside and the outside, and it's footed, 
and also here you can see it's signed by the artist it's M Forrester right here and look at the back it's also signed MF M Forrester and it's dated dash 07 so this means 1907 so uh, this ball is right now uh, 111 years old and there is also another mark here and it's uh, T and V Limoges France and so if you go on eBay and you do a look up for the T and V Limoges France and footed balls so there is balls that have gold decoration and they have other uh, type of painting done with hand painted and they go for big bucks. Some of these balls are sell for uh, anywhere from 150 to six to seven hundred dollars. But I did not find anything similar to this type of painting uh, design. So this might be a unique one, and it's gonna be a, maybe a long tail item because a special person is gonna spend that much money on a ball. But I put it up on eBay, and I priced it at $450, and I guess uh, that gives me some room when I run sales, so it might, the price might drop down to about $300 some dollars, and I also have it on the Etsy shop for $390. I only paid 30 bucks, so a good lesson here is this, uh, this mark is good, TNV Limoges France. Not everything is expensive with this mark. But if it's hand-painted and signed, then you know you got some good value. So that was my antiquing pickup for uh, last week. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And again, Happy New Year, everybody. And I will see you again on my next video. Ciao.